Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're continuing part three of the review series in the Department 56 2024 Halloween releases, at least the pieces that I bought. And I'm excited uh, for this review because this is one of my favorite collectible sets, has been since the original was released uh, as a four box gift set. And with that, you probably already know what I'm talking about, and that is the Sleepy Hollow set. Department 56 last year decided they were going to re-release the Sleepy Hollow sets, or at least the, the, some of the buildings uh, in Sleepy Hollow genre, and they're going to make them a little bit bigger in footprint, sort of along the same size as the Snow Village Halloween or Snow Village Christmas pieces. And last year's pieces were amazing. This year's pieces are just as, as, ama just as amazing. And today we're going to be taking a look at Sleepy Hollow Schoolhouse, and the coordinating accessory, Katrina Van Tassel. So with that, let's jump off the tripod and take a closer look. Well, like always, we're going to start with a box, and this one is the Sleepy Hollow Schoolhouse. You can see that there. It is a ceramic building, no resin here. It's completely ceramic. And uh, Department 56 likes to use their old-style light bulbs to get really hot. I've taken that out and replaced it with a cool or a uh, warm white LED light and so the lighting in mine may look just a little bit different but not bad you could actually I think it would look better quite honestly with a yellow or an orange light inside of this one but I did not do that so here is the piece now if you wanted to buy this piece outright uh, retail today that would set you back hundred and fifty dollars and the coordinating accessory uh, Katrina Van Tassel will set you back twenty two dollars and fifty cents so what do you get for that? Well, let's move Katrina out of the way and take a look at the detail of this Sleepy Hollow Schoolhouse, starting with the little signage above uh, the entryway there. Very well done piece, very well painted this year as well. No major defects uh, that I can see on this one that I've looked at. You can see the old, uh, almost like a wooden, uh, tiled roof or wooden uh, shingles roof. You can see the uh, just the cool looking fall leaves scattered across the top of that. Even all the way back to the chimney in the back, just really well done and really well painted. So no issues here. There's also a bell tower. Just kind of bring the camera up just a little bit right there with a bell that actually rings. I don't know if you can hear that, but the bell actually rings in that when it's moved. And so just a very good paint job on the sort of the wood paneling there. It's just a really, really good. And then if you can see right down below the, the door there is a schoolmaster uh, eye crane. So obviously Ichabod works in this school. This is where he teaches. And so just a really, really cool looking piece. As we continue around the front, you can see the piles of leaves that have uh, kind of gotten all over the front of this, uh, this schoolhouse. You can see a small bench out by this window with some books that are tied up with some rope, which looks really good. And then as we come around to this side of the house, still really good detail, a little overhang there on the, uh, the little wood pile out there for the probably the wood burning stove for heat and uh, cooking if they were to do that at the school. Uh, but you can see the detail on it. It's really, really well done. Uh, no major errors here at all that I can see. As we come around to this side of the schoolhouse, same concept, the paint is really good, except the only difference here is you've got uh, obviously no running plumbing, it looks like inside the school at that time frame. So you've got a well with a pump uh, and a little bucket out there uh, for gathering up water for drinking or washing your hands or what, what have you. I'll move the tree out of the way so you can see a little bit better here as we continue around this side. So no issues here. Everything looks really, really good. Uh, this is just a really well done piece. You can see the light illuminating in the bell tower from the main house. And then as we come along to the back of the uh, building, 
You can see the cord that goes in there. You can also see a back door, a little rope that's actual rope. It's kind of hanging there. It's hot glued on. You can kind of see a little bit of the hot glue if you look closely with a little uh, metal brad there that kind of holds that rope, but you can kind of see the glue around it. No big deal, it's at the back of the building and nobody's really gonna see that. Um, so I'm not really worried about that at all. And then you've got a little pitchfork uh, sitting around the back. And so that does it for the whole facade of this piece, but it is really well done. It's very nostalgic looking to me. Um, and just a must have if you are a Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane, or just that whole series, um, you're gonna want this in your collection. So very well done. It's a wonderfully cool looking piece. Um, and so very, very pleased with this one and the paint job. Now let's move on to the accessory, Katrina. And likewise, she is incredibly well done. You can see here as I, I get as close as I, the camera will allow me, she's got some blue eyes. You can clearly see that. The paint on her dress is just really well done. She's carrying a book, um, and we'll see what's written in that book here in a moment. But you can kind of see even the resin, and uh, she is resin, she is not ceramic, and I like resin accessories, quite honestly. I think they hold detail better, they just look better in my opinion. They're more of a flat paint job than the shiny gloss, and I like them. But you can see from her all angles, her dress is really well done, The everything is just well done. She is reading, uh, a book, it must be an awful boring book because there's no, there's no words in it. So just a little prop in her hand, no actual words in the book. It would have been sort of cool if that uh, at least scribbled something in there. Maybe not even legible, but maybe had something in there if you want the actual detail. But most people are gonna be displaying her in this way and obviously no book needed uh, or no words needed in that book because you're never going to see it but just from all sides and all angles she looks really really well done just a really good paint job no issues at all there so this is going to be a great uh, addition to uh, last year's piece uh, with Ichabod himself he had his house you had uh, his horse gunpowder so just a, a very cool set coming together so far. So that's a, a much closer look. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Okay, well, hopefully you like the Sleepy Hollow Schoolhouse as much as I do. It's such a tremendous uh, piece of this collection. I can't wait to see what they're going to release in this series next year. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to display these. I may do a small vignette at some point of these uh, two pieces, but I'm not going to do anything permanent because I want to wait till the entire series is out so I can I can build something uh, using all of them, or at least get a general idea of what it's going to look like and how many pieces so I can maybe start designing some modular pieces that'll fit together over time to make one large display when it's all said and done. More to come on that, but for this, I hope you enjoyed the Sleepy Hollow Schoolhouse review and the coordinating accessory. You guys know how I feel about the accessories. One, this one is, uh, is just really well done. It's very, very well painted. It's a very cool looking piece. But me and, and what I've learned through this hobby in the small time frame that I've been doing this is if you get the house uh, or the building, you probably should get the coordinating accessory because what's gonna happen at some point you're going to you're going to pass on it let's say and then it's going to you know three five seven ten years down the road when this is all of a sudden incredibly popular again you're going to say man i really wanted katrina i should have got her because now she's for you know i can't get her less than 106 dollars on ebay so my advice is always get the coordinating accessory and if you don't want it later down the road you can sell it on eBay for $106 if that's what you want to do. So, hey, like always, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure 
uh, or at least consider doing that. It certainly helps me out. It helps the channel to grow. Uh, and if you have questions or comments on this piece or any other pieces that we've looked at this year, or just a question in general, leave that in the comments. I try to answer every single one of them. Well, we're going to stop this one and get on to the next review. So until we talk again, take care of yourselves. We'll see you.